Midjourney can create so many different styles of art. The possibilities seem endless. And honestly, sometimes the prompts are getting longer and longer, and it's hard to keep track of what you want to create exactly. In this video, I want to show some styles that you maybe don't know yet that are really fun to use in Midjourney. With this style, you can create some type of art that are different than what you normally see. Before I start with the prompts that you can use to create unique art, I want to show this page, and this is the Midjourney styles and keyword reference page. And I already showed this page before in another video, but if you just want some inspiration for your styles, you can use this page. So if you scroll below, you see that they have many different options. They have design styles, digital, drawing art, objects. And for now, I'll just go to drawing and art mediums. And once you're on this page, you see that you have more things to choose from. So here, illustration and drawing, paint. I click on this one. Then you can go to drawing types. Here you see what happens if you use a certain word in your prompt. So for instance, if I would add drawing in my prompt, I can see here that it looks like this. If you just want an easy way to get inspiration to create something that you like, you can use this tool. And all the tools that I show in this video will have links in the description, so just check it there. The first style that I want to share with you is isometric style. An isometric style is like a top-down 3D style that has been used in a lot of video games. And I really like the results that you can get with that. I just created the prompt Rundown Church after Zombie Apocalypse and then Isometric in the end. And I think Midjourney doesn't really understand what I mean with Rundown, but I mean Broken Down and all that stuff. Pretty nice. So it's not Rundown, but we have the isometric style, like the top-down 3D style. And on this one, we actually have some zombies going around. You can use this style for a lot of buildings, but you can also use it for the inside of places. So I'm going to try one more. This time I will go for teenage rock boy bedroom with posters and isometric. And here we get the teenage rock boy bedroom with posters, isometric. And these are more like it. So it's really the isometric 3D style from the top. And we have the guitars going on, some posters on the wall. Here there's even a boy with a guitar here as well. And this one actually I like the most. So it has a black background and posters and there's electric guitar. And you can use this to create whatever you want, whatever kind of building and get the inside as well. And to keep in a video style, I want to show 16-bit art. And this is a art style that is being used in older games that have less pixels. So I have the prompt 16-bit art outside of coffee shop at sunset cinematic. And this is very nice. This is what I was looking for. So on this one, actually, there's a TV outside with the sunset. So that's a bit weird. But I think the one in the left bottom, I like the most. It really is 16 bit. You have the coffee shop there on the corner with the sunset. You can just create some places or locations in this style. And you'll get something else than you would normally get. The next prompt I wanted to share is the double exposure prompt. What this means is that you're going to combine two subjects with each other and they're going to get double exposure. So you will see one subject in the other subject. I went for the first subject, old TV. Then the second subject was forest and you add double exposure at the end. And Midjourney created this. And you see this one on the bottom right is the most like a double exposure because it has the trees going on there. And the other ones, they more generated a forest on the TV. So that's not exactly what we wanted. So I'm going to try one more and do a different subject than the TV. So my prompt was slash imagine silhouette of women, beach and sea, double exposure. So if Midjourney does what I want, we're going to have a woman and inside you will see the beach and the sea. And this is exactly what I wanted. So here we have the silhouette of the woman and in there you have the double exposure with the sea and the beach inside. You can really let your imagination run free and mix everything together that you want double exposure from. So this is really a fun little prompt. The next prompt is something you probably didn't think about before. It's a cutaway diagram and you can get the cutaway diagram of everything that you want. So I'm going to go for a watermelon cutaway diagram. So Midjourney went a bit too far because suddenly the watermelon inside has different fruits. There's a kiwi inside and some other type of fruits and here a lot of seeds. But you see what is possible. So Midjourney will cut things in half and on the right and the left they add some text with arrows how a cutaway diagram normally would look like. You can do this with subjects but you can also do this with places. And I type police station cutaway diagram. So here you see it really cut the building in half and you can see inside. 
And the police station was kind of hard for it, I think, because it looks more like a hotel or more like a house with apartments. And this in the top right maybe could be something. So I'm going to upscale that one and see how that one looks after I upscale it. The next prompt you can use is create the subject out of a certain material. So this is just subject made out of material. And you can do this with different things. And I'm going to go with bicycle made out of pens. And I really got the bike three times, but the pencils, it's a bit hard. It seems more like it's drawn almost, but it is a very nice different result that I normally wouldn't have gotten. And you can go crazy with this, add things together, and you're gonna get some nice things. The upscaled police station is ready. Let's take a look. Okay, so yeah, it's not really a police station. I think here in the bottom, you really have an entrance that could be a police station. Here there's a little desk that could really be a police station, but the rest here suddenly we have a kitchen and it just seems more like an apartment mixed together. It didn't work perfect with this one, but you can just mix it up and try with different subjects and you will get some nice diagrams. I recently created a video about realistic art in mid journey. In this video, I have a formula in which you can create the most realistic images ever that just look like real images. I will put the link in the description or you can click here in the video. Next to realistic portraits, you can also create images of cities, of, of night skies, of landscapes, of nature, of whatever you want. And I'm going to go for a long exposure photography so that you really see the lights. And I add lit cityscape. And in the end, I add dash dash AR32. So we get a wider aspect ratio that it fits with a cityscape. And Mid Journey created some really nice images. So I have the city right here. You see the lights going on, the lights from the cars and the buses are going. And this is really a realistic image that could be real. I really like creating these realistic images in Mid Journey and you should definitely try it. So watch that video after this one. Mid Journey creates all digital art, but how cool is it if you can take this digital art and put it on your own body if you want to? Because Mid Journey is also a great tattoo designer. So I have minimal tattoo design, line, asymmetrical, planets, black and white background. And these are looking very nice actually. So we only have one that's really on the white and the other ones are already on the body. But this is exactly what I wanted. It's black, it's with lines, it's with some planets, it's minimal. I really like this one. So you can get some very cool designs just using Mid Journey. So really create digital art and make it physical art. I personally really love movie posters and especially the old ones or more minimal ones. It's always fun to look how they create them. You can also create movie posters exactly as you want. But you just begin with movie poster. I have movie poster for Lord of the Rings in the style of the Matrix. So I'm going to combine those two together. I'm very curious what Mid Journey is going to do. It is ready. Let's take a look. And yeah, it's hard to recognize the Lord of the Rings in this. But a lot of the people have long hair, so Mid Journey thinks long hair equals Mid Journey. But you definitely see the Matrix style, the green style and the text going on. And this person could really be Legolas. For more posters, I would actually add in the back aspect ratio 2.3, so dash dash AR23. Just to make sure you have the longer format of a real poster. So there is a lot of prompts that you can try out. Sometimes there are so many options that you don't think of and that's where this tool really comes in. And it's amazing to use and I will put the link in the description again. And what it does is it, you give a subject and it generates prompts for you that you can use and you get all different images. You can see that probably here they just add a dog or cat and you get a lot of different styles. So it's a lot of fun. I mean, look at this. It just looks so cool. I'm going to go for 916. And I just add red sports car. After you press generate styles, you see that you get 10 prompts that you can just copy and paste in mid journey and you will get some nice results. So I'm just going to copy and paste a couple in mid journey, just see how it looks. And I still had the 916 aspect ratio while I did the red sports car and that was not perfect, but yeah, it is generated now. So let's see how it looks. So this is the first one and you see that this is a bit in drawn style. And really from a low angle with a white camera, it's really from the side and I can read through it. It's sublime, cyber ghetto, dry point, wide angle. They add a lot of aspects to the prompts that normally I wouldn't add. So let's see this one. This one is monumental, Christmas, concept design, street level view. And this one is nice also. It's more in a digital art kind of style and 
um, it's more realistic, but it is something that I wouldn't have gotten. So it's very nice to try out. And then the last one is more of a realistic style. And this really seems like a rendering, like an 8K rendering or something like this, with the nice reflection going on. So you really get different styles with just only giving the subject. It's a lot of fun. Now I'm gonna try one more because I really like this tool. I will try the Cyberpunk Cat in Dark Alley. I'm gonna do one one. So the first Cyberpunk Cat is ready. This became like a printed out frame on another place. So it's not my favorite, but let's see the other ones. And these actually look pretty good. We have a, a nice cat with the sunlight coming through and here the neon in the back. And here we have one more. It's a bit similar as the last one, but this time you really have more, it seems like volumetric lighting. So some dark parts and some light parts. It's actually looking very nice. And then the final one is the psychedelic cybernetic punk ghost core close up, a lot of stuff. And these ones came out really well, I feel. It's really a close up, super sharp. You have some nice light effects going on. I really like this one. And it's just so fun that I only gave a subject and I get this totally different results. I hope you learned something in this video and that I showed a couple of prompts that you didn't know before. I have a lot of fun creating different kinds of prompts and seeing what we can come up with. I have a link to all the tools in the description so you can go crazy with both the prompt generators. I also recently made a video of creating art in Midjourney only using emojis. You can watch that video here. And otherwise, please subscribe because I will make a lot more AI content.